Hello boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Learning with Mr. Frost. This episode, we are going to be learning about how to find math in nature. So sit back, relax, look at the videos, look at the pictures that were taken by me, and try and find the beauty and math in nature. Oh, first graders! Thank you so much! I was videotaping these geese today, and I showed the park ranger, and guess what he wants to do? He wants to make little geese shoes! But he doesn't know how many to make. I was wondering if you could help me. You can? Oh, thank you! So, here's what we need to do. We need to find out how many shoes to make for these geese. What is our first step going to be? Oh, you think we need to count how many geese there are? Well, that's a great idea. Well, let's do that. So I see one, two, Let's keep going. Whoa, 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 where are we going? Whoa. Three, four, five, oh, hey. <laughs> six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And that's a duck. That doesn't count. These shoes are for geese. So there's 12. Uh-oh. Did we miss some? I think we did. So we're at 12, 13, 14. 14 geese. So how many shoes do we need? How many shoes do we need if we have 14 geese? So let's go all the way back to the beginning because I think a good strategy, we know that geese have how many feet? We know that geese have two feet. So if we count by twos for each geese that we see, that tells us that there's two feet for each geese. So each goose would need two shoes. So let's count. Ready? Two, four, six, eight, and we're counting by twos, ten, Ooh, hey. twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, 20, 22, 24, and let's go back to those geese that we forgot, shall we? So we're at 24, 20, whoop, 6, 28. So we would need to make or buy 28 geese shoes. Oh, isn't that so cute? And now a little bonus footage of a goose cleaning himself. Um, nom, nom, nom. Hi, I'm a goose. I'm just going to... Oh, hey. What are you looking at, buddy? Oh, now I see you. And I'm going back to scratch, 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 scratch. Wonderful. Now that we've counted those geese feet, we're going to talk about another type of feet, and that is measurement. We are going to look at spacing between puddles. Isn't that crazy? So let's look right here. The spacing here is about three feet. And as I'm saying this, please write that down on your piece of paper. So three feet this is about four feet. Th 
three feet again. Four feet again. Four feet. And that's it. So, I want you to figure out how many feet is it in between the two end puddles. So we are going to start from here and then we are going to end here. So what I want you to do is to re-watch that if you need to or let's just do it together. So if you want to do it on your own, pause it and if not, then let's do it together. Alrighty. We said that this was three feet. In between here is four feet. So three plus four is seven. And then in between here is three feet. Seven plus three is 10. In between here was 4 feet. 10 plus 4 is 14. Excelente. Oop, oop, going this way, buddy. <laughs> and then in between here was 4 feet again. So 14 plus 4 is 18. So the answer is there was 18 feet in between each puddle. Isn't that crazy? All right, time to go jump in that puddle. Here we go! Wow. This is a beautiful flower garden. Isn't it just lovely? Uh-oh. I'm pausing it right here. How many full flowers do you see in this patch? I only see one. So here's what I want you to do. I want you to make up your very own number story about this. For example, Last night, there were 15 flowers in this patch. Overnight, a hungry raccoon came and ate 14 of them. How many flowers were left? And the answer is one. So I want you to think of that on your own. Pretend you're the teacher and come up with a question that the answer is one. Very, very cool. Wow. This is a beautiful, beautiful stream. It's actually very calming to come here and just think. But here's what I want you to do. I want you to pretend that there were 24 fish in this stream. 24 fish. So we're starting with the number 24. If 16 of them swam away to a different pond, how many fish would be left? So we're starting with 24 fish and 16 of them swim away. If they swim away, we know we are going to use subtraction. Very good. Now you can either do 24 minus 16 or you could do the count up method that we talked about and start at 16 and count up to 24. Mm. Good luck. Did you unpause the video? Because I'm telling you the answer. 24 
minus 16 is 8. There would be 8 fish left. If you did it, high five. If you didn't do it, high five. Because you still tried. All right, and this is your final, final picture. This is not a video. This is a picture I took outside. And here's what I wanted to know. I wanted to see if you were able to differentiate or tell the difference between different plants, different flowers, and different organic and inorganic materials. Whoa, what does that all mean? I want to know how many different items or things you can find. Now, for example, if you say this flower, that is the same as all of these yellow flowers. There's one yellow flower that is not the same, but that just counts as one, okay? Taking those away, bye-bye. All right, so pause the video, and then all I want you to do is count, and then write down the number of things that you found. And let's see if you can find more than me. Okay? Go ahead and pause, and then count. Alright, so you've unpaused the video. Let's see how many different items or things I found in this picture. Obviously, I found the buttercup. I found this little white flower. I'm not sure what that name is, so I'm going to look that up after. I saw this big stick. I also saw grass. Grass. Ooh, nice. I saw this dandelion right here. And finally, I saw this little color. I'm not sure what that is. But it looks like maybe a purple flower. Right? It looks like that up there. Oh, that doesn't count. It's the same thing. Alright, so I found one, two, three, four, five, six different things. How many did you find? Did you find more than me? Fewer than me? Let me know in the comments. All right, thank you so much for another wonderful video of Learning with Mr. Frost. You are all fantastic. Let's keep learning together. Adios.